Hi everyone, today I'm glad to introduce our new cable wire harness kit for our PB4411 and 4511 series. This kit has been asked by many of our customers for a while, so I'm really happy to let you know now this is available for sale. This is a simple and neat wiring harness kit with a building LED plastic jumper cable here. So the kits come with 6 inch long or 15 centimeter long ULO 1015 18 gauge cables for the main switch terminals, which is enough for carrying 20 amp current based on ABYC standards. The way to install it is very simple. First of all, you can see there is a laser etched LED positive mark with an arrow here. On the switch side, you can also find a positive mark next to the terminals here. You can also identify the LED positive terminal from the side of the switch. The end with larger colored portion will be the positive end. Align the LED positive arrow to the larger portion color and snap in, and you are done. Simple and easy. When connecting the powers, there are two ways to do so. First of all, you can see there are three cables here. A two positive cable and one negative cable. So first of all, connect the LED negative cable to the DC ground. And then for the rest, one of these cables will go to the DC positive and the other one will go to the device it controls. So first of all, if you connect the cable with the jumper cable to the DC positive, as you can see, the LED will be always powered by the input cable. So this LED will be always on. If you connect the DC positive to the other cable, so the LED will be powered through the output cable here that goes to the device, and therefore the LED will be powered together with the device. That is, the LED will be on only when it is pressed. The switch contacts inside are designed for DC 12V, 20A, and DC 24V, 10A. However, the LED inside is designed for DC 12V only. So if you want to use the switch for 24 applications or if you find the LED ring is too bright in the dark, you can connect a resistor in series of the LED negative cable here. It is actually very simple. First of all, you cut the LED cable and strip it. Then solder a resistor with proper resistance and watt value. And finally, cover it with a heat shrink tube. We can also do this for you in our factory upon a MLQ. So you can get a cable harness kit with building resistors like this right out of our factory. The laser etching marks here can also be customized. So if you want, you can also put your logos on it. So anyway, that's it for today's introduction. Please like our channel if you find this introduction helpful and leave comments if you like it or have any questions. Thank you and we will see you next time.